up, what's up my LV besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy, and if you're new here, thank you so very much for joining my channel. And if you're not new here, thank you so very much for jumping back on to another video. I just wanna first start off by saying I appreciate each and every one of you guys so very much. It means the world to me that you guys click on my video and comment and like and share and all of the things that you do that helps contribute to the growth of my channel. So. Thanks to you all. I, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Because if you love handbags and all that pertains to them, then this is the place for you because I do show a lot of handbags and I do a lot of unboxings and comparisons, which I need to get back to doing because I'm just so behind you guys. Like these last few weeks, I have been so busy and we've had so so much going on, which I've talked to you guys before with like med medical issues and such within the family that it's just been one thing after another. So I've been so behind. I've been just doing the unboxings because that in between time I'm do I'm dealing with other things. So yeah, so it's, hopefully it's all about to calm down and I can get back to doing like tags and the comparisons and other things that I like to do. So. I don't like to not show you guys the latest releases because so many look for those and are thankful that I show them because if I could tell you how many times someone has commented and said after watching my video they went and purchased the bag or not purchased the bag, I would be talking all day on how many people have done that. So I do like to show these as quick as I can and then do the other videos in between or whatever. Also, I have a vlog sale going again, again, but I'm going to show that after I do the unboxing and then that way, if you guys don't care about what I have for sale, you don't have to watch it or scroll or any of that kind of stuff, but I just figure I would go ahead and do my unboxing this time first and then show you guys the several things that I have for sale at the end and I'm having to sell, I'm not having to, but I want to sell a few things and I will tell you guys why when I show you the bags that I have, okay? Anyways, let's get on with the unboxing first. My throat is like so dry, you guys. My allergies have been through the roof, through the roof. Okay, let's untie this. I have already looked at the bag. I didn't untie the ribbon, but I, I saw the ribbon back and then looked at the bag. This is a bag that I'm super excited to show you guys. And I think you guys will love it as much as I do as well. All right, so it's nicely, nicely packed in the box. If they made the bags fit like tightly in the boxes, then it wouldn't quite be so darn bad when they send bags to you because they wouldn't be sliding all around in those other boxes. So anyways, all right, just, I don't want to complain. So here's a pretty dust bag. You can see the tag hanging out. <laughs> so now let's open up the dust bag so I can show you guys this beauty. She's such a beauty. Okay, here is the new vibe. And you guys, people who follow me on here probably expected me to get this bag all the way because this is a, such a me bag. Monogram, back pocket, all of that. So let me do a 360 over the bag and go over the details because you guys that know me already know why I wanted this bag for sure. Okay, so here is the front. Here is the side. Here is the back the other side and then check out the bottom you guys it's got fascetta going all the way around the bag i didn't know how i'd feel about that but whatevs okay and then here's the top okay let's go over the details now this is a bag that actually caught my eye on somebody's video i don't recall who probably lula west lux i don't remember but whoever showed it i've knew it was going to be a bag that I was going to want because it is the typical monogram canvas bag and I am such a typical monogram canvas girl all the way like these are the bags that just scream Louis Vuitton to me and I don't know why but these will just never not be my favorite bags it's what drew me into loving 
Louis Vuitton in the first place. It's what drew a lot of people in was their signature print, which I know their original signature print is the Abin, but the monogram, obviously it's Louis Vuitton, but I'm just saying like, this is a print that I can't help but want to buy every bag that they come out in the monogram print or the Damier Abin print because they're just they're just Louis Vuitton. That's all I can say. I know that sounds so dumb because obviously that's what it is, but I'm saying like that's what captures my heart, the monogram print and the a bean print. So to some of you, this is no surprise, but I just want to say I was very, very shocked at how much I did love this bag when I looked at it because I did not know if I would or not. And the reason was not because of the look at the bag, because I didn't know how practical it was. I did not know how much it would hold inside of the bag. When you look online, you really just can't tell. And by the way, the measurements of the bag are not online. It was on there before, but it's not now. I don't know why it wasn't, but I went to the website before I started this video to see and it was gone. So yeah, but anyways, um, this is just a perfect everyday bag. I mean, that's not heavy and the canvas is so, you guys, if I, oh my gosh, okay. If I could just let you guys feel this bag through the camera, like I would tell you guys to reach your hands out and feel it because it's that nice. Like it feels so amazing. I know they didn't do anything different. It's probably just the way the bag is made, but this bag is so luxurious feeling. I mean, it is amazing. I didn't know also how I would feel about the Vachetta wrapping around the bag. I truly don't know why they did that, especially no, without adding feet. Like if you were going to do the Vachetta underneath the bag, like they could have fit some feet right here. So that way when the bag is set down, the Vachetta is not sitting on top of anything that could possibly get it dirty. But I looked past that because I think it gives it a really unique look regardless that it might get dirty with time, but I will apple guard it and all of that. So I really am one that's very careful with my bags. And so whenever I take them places and stuff, I don't baby them completely, but I, I wouldn't take this out if it was raining like it has been all day today. Basically what I'm saying is I'm more careful of which bags I take and wear. That's why my bags stay in such good shape because I really am careful with them. I don't really worry about the Vachetta that much because I know myself and I know what I do with my bags and I will definitely take care of her. But also if it gets water spots or whatever on the Vachetta, you know, it, it leaves a story um, behind of your journey with the bag. So who really cares anyways? And especially if it's one that you don't plan on getting rid of in the future. And you guys, I'd be out of my mind if I got rid of this bag because that's how much I love this bag along with some of the other ones that I love so much that I talk about on here. So I am stoked about this one. Okay, so one of the things that I also love about this bag is there's no hardware at the top, just like I love my Ivy bag in the monogram canvas. Oh, by the way, this is the vibe. I don't know if I said that at the beginning, but I do like that there's no hardware on the front. And then when you open it up, it is magnetic closure. So that's pretty cool. I like when they have magnetic closures versus snap. I think it's much easier just to do that. And the magnets do what they're supposed to do. But anyways, opening it up, it has two good front pockets. So really like that. And <laughs> I like to hear that snap. Okay. And then of course, it's got a very nice zipper pull. And uh, this tag. Okay, let me let me... Throw that to the side. And it's got one zipper pull. And I do like that it's got the bigger one right there. You guys, my fingernails. Oh my gosh. Uh, you guys, don't even look at my fingernails because they need help. Um, <laughs> Major. <laughs> major help. <laughs> okay, anyway. I do like the thick zipper pull. I'll show you guys. See? Okay. And then you open her up. So this was the thing that I was unsure of because the website doesn't give the greatest description of or picture of what the back is going to look like. It looks like it's very thin, but it's not, you guys. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's get both straps out. I forgot it came with two. You guys, look how big that back 
opening is. That is huge. I mean, not huge, but that is like a really good size compartment. Oh, and it also has a pocket right there as well. And let me get you guys a product number, maybe, if it has one. Okay, well, and this bag was made in France, in case anybody cares. I don't care where they're made, but I do like to see where they're made from. And if I had a choice, it would be France or Spain. I'm just saying, or Italy even, but hey, don't, I don't, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> okay, so you got the good size back pocket. So let's zip this back up. I'm going to take this tag off. Hang on, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so I took the tag off, and I was wondering where the product code is, but I guess now they're coming inside the tag. So that's pretty cool because it had the textile card in the pocket as I pulled out and showed you guys earlier, but it was all alone and I'm used to the product code being back there. So anyways, I will read the product code off and it is M46999, okay? And it is called The Vibe as I mentioned before. So I'm going to actually save this and I'm going to put it in the back pocket with that textile card just because I saved them all. So, I mean, sometimes they fall out, but okay. That's beside the point. Now, the other details on the bag, I think we went over. Oh, the back pocket. We did not go over that. So, it's got a good, nice size back pocket. And yes, I have tried my phone out in it and it does fit, which I will show you guys when I show you guys what fits inside the bag. Okay, let's lay her down for a second. Now, it comes with this strap right here which is a Vachetta strap that is a very good adjustable one. And of course, as you can see, a detachable one. Now, I have not actually tried this bag on. So when I try this bag on, it will determine whether or not I keep this strap or if I go with my wider Vachetta strap or you guys already know. You guys can already drop in the comments what I'm gonna say. My monogram canvas strap. But the only thing I will say one reason why I think I will stick with the Vachetta is because of it lining up next to the Vachetta that's going down the side of the bag. So I probably will do the whole Vachetta strap thing with this one, but either way, it would be cute, I think, even with the monogram one. But anyway, so if I don't like this one, it will be up for sale or along with the rest of my stuff at the end, but we will see. I, I really just don't care for thin straps. They've, they've never been my favorite, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, and then also this shoulder strap came with it, and this is so, so pretty. Let me put it up close. So as you guys can see, it is one of the guitar straps, but it's not like not stretchy by any means, but it's meant to be a shoulder strap, so I don't think it's meant to be stretchy. I love that it has a circle with the LV signature in the middle. Super, super pretty. I could also put some extenders on and make it longer. Okay, so let's see what fits inside this bag, and then I will try it on for you guys. Okay, so I am still in my Diane bag, still carrying her, and you guys probably heard me say it was raining earlier, so I did not know whenever I got out with her that, that it was going to continue on raining, but she's okay. She made it just fine. All right, so I'm going to take everything out of here, and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, that did not take long on my end, and it took us like a second on your end, or not even a second. All right, we're going to test. I have not tried my things out in this bag. I could just tell by looking that it was going to hold a lot now. We'll see what it holds as I start this whole process, but we're going to try putting the mini pochette inside here. And considering it has these compartments in the front, that's going to help out a, a ton, especially having the back pocket. Okay, so I'm still in my Rosalie wallet, so let's stick her in here as well. The Chanel lotion, I'm going to slide that in back there. Um... The other thing I have left out is my hairbrush. I don't know if she's going to go. I don't know, but I really don't care if she goes anyway. He's like, so let's zip this up. So now let's see what we can put in the front pockets, which I'm really loving this whole thing because you guys know how I love to be able to reach for a hand sanitizer. I don't know why I grabbed my AirPods when I said that, <laughs> but I will grab a hand sanitizer in just a moment. But anyways, AirPods. And I got mine in a pretty thick case, so let's see if they will work in here. They may not. I may have to take them out if I want to carry them. Let me find a sanitizer, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I have a sanitizer right here that's in a little Zimani case. So let me see if it'll fit with it in there. 
and which fits perfectly. All right, let's try to snap these. I don't think I'm going to keep those in here. Like, they do fit, but it kind of makes it stick out in the front. So, I'm going to remove the AirPods real quick. Well, hang on just a moment, which is totally fine because half the time I take these and half the time I do not. So, you could actually stick something else in the front. So, I'm going to take my lotion and see if this will work. Let's see. That may work a little bit better. Okay, that actually works better. So, we got lotion, we got sanitizer. So, my AirPods could go in here. And let's zip this up. Now, we're going to put the phone in the back. Okay, so here it all is. Everything fits nicely and compact and, yeah, gorgeous. So now I'm going to put the strap on the bag and show you guys what it looks like on. Okay, you guys, here is the bag crossbody. So I really do like where it is hitting at right here. There is another notch or two that I could go down if I wanted some extra length, but I think this is fine just like it is. So this is how I plan on wearing the bag and I'll show you guys up close how it looks crossbody. So now let me show you guys how it looks like on my shoulder with this strap, okay? Okay, so here it is as a long shoulder bag, which is really cute like that as well. So I do like that look. And now I will show you guys what it looks like with the short shoulder strap, okay? Okay, you guys, so here it is with the short shoulder strap, the different one, the guitar type of strap. And I do like it, especially if you're just going to throw it on and go and not want a long strap. This is super cute. I'm just gonna sit down and show you guys now. So this is super cute with it on there like that. I do like, I really do like, oh, let me turn it around. I really do like the look of it. I just don't know if I'll do it. <laughs> I really don't know, but it is a really good shoulder strap just to throw one and go. I just wished they would have made it in like a darker color so I didn't have to worry about it as much, even though I think this color just is beautiful up against this monogram canvas, especially with this being the dark brown. I think that really looks pretty. And also, let me show you guys with some extenders what it would look like just a little bit longer because I think that would be really cute too. And so I like to show you guys these things just to show you guys some different options. That way, if you need just a little more slack, I can show you guys that, you know, it will work still just by going on to Amazon or Etsy and ordering some of these cheap extenders because they are like next to nothing in cost, you guys. And all you got to put in is bag extenders on Amazon or Etsy and there's going to be about a thousand that pop up. So, I like these right here because it just kind of looks Louis Vuitton-ish. I don't know why I think that. It's just more plain, I guess I should say. Okay, so let's... Okay, what I like about this extender is it has, it has a circle at the end. So you really can't tell that it's not part of the strap because it just clips right onto that circle. So, it kind of just blends in, if you ask me. So, this is going to be a huge change in this bag as far as wearing it as a short shoulder bag because it's going to be more of a mid length. So, let me show you guys that. Okay, so here's what it looks like on with the extenders. So, you see what I mean? Like, it, it's a big difference. Like, it goes from short to more of a mid length. And you could possibly do that with the longer straps, but I don't think you could get it to right here with the longer straps, the crossbody straps. But you might can, I don't know. But with this, you definitely can by adding some extenders. Or if you aren't as tall as I am, or whatever the case might be, this strap may fit just perfectly fine right over your shoulder for a short shoulder strap look without the extenders. But there it is, you guys. There she is. An amazing bag. An amazing, everyday, practical, versatile casual bag that I love. It may scream Louis Vuitton, but it's also screaming my name. And I answered back and bought the bag. I just really love that I can grab my phone out of the back pocket. Everything that I carry on a daily fits inside this bag perfectly. So that is my 
new bag that I could not wait to show you guys. In case you have been wondering about the vibe, there it is, okay? So now I'm going to move on and show you guys the things that I do have for sale, okay? Okay. The first bag is going to be this beautiful tote bag from Marc Jacobs. Now, I got this bag last spring, last spring, you guys, and we are ending spring pretty much right now. I never did an unboxing over it, and I've never taken the stuffing out of the bag. I did that whole pink cell, you know, almost the same color as my Kusin bag. I've never even unboxed it or used it, and whenever I thought about letting things go, I think about the ones that I have not used or even shown you guys like if i haven't even unboxed it which is probably just because last spring i was busy and then i set the bag to the side and never and just never went back to it <laughs> so that's probably more of what it was but it does still have the tag attached on here as you can see i have not even taken the paper off and i'm not going to in case someone buys this that way you are getting the brand new bag and you can take all of the stuffing out of it yourself but let me put it up close to the screen and this is in a size small and you guys probably already know that they changed their sizes so what used to be a mini is now a small this is a nice size tote bag it's not too big it's not too small okay so here's the front and then here is the back of the bag so it's in the color let me look hold on it's hard to see floral candy to me, it's like a cotton candy color or like the rose bonbon. It looks just like that. But this is a true like, let me move this out tag out of the way. This is a true, true pink, you guys, like true pink. But I cut down on my pink collection. I have the Kusin bag that's pink and I have the Pochette Matisse in pink. So I just don't. I don't want another pink bag and if I did I might would even get something from the new pink collection that they have coming out soon I think you can pre-order now I'm pretty positive you can but that I don't know so but bottom line this is for sale because it has sat over on my love seat since last spring you guys yeah brand new never touched never used you will save some money if you want this bag by purchasing it from me okay so the tote bag from Marc Jacobs, inside small, moving on. The next bag is my Gucci Marymount bag with the silver hardware. There's nothing wrong with the bag at all. It's just, well, I'll show you guys why in just a second, but let me show you guys. Oh, let me take my insert out of it, hold on. Cause I use these in other bags. Actually, if someone buys this bag, they can have the insert. Um, nothing wrong with the bag, nothing at all. There's no marks inside the canvas. The leather looks really good. Beautiful bag, beautiful hardware, bottom, nothing wrong, nothing at all. I just don't carry it. And if I'm going to carry a black with silver hardware bag, I'll show you guys the bags that I'm going to choose before I choose this one. And it's either my YSL envelope bag this is a go nowhere bag forever for me. So I do think before I gravitate to the Gucci Marmont, I'm going to choose this one or even better, hang on. My black trunk bag from Louis Vuitton with same thing, black with silver hardware. So it's going to be one of those two over this sweet little thing that has been sitting forever now like literally i mean sitting up on my little cute shelf it's a beautiful bag it's not fair to her to sit there when i'm choosing two other bags over her so so she is up for grabs if anybody wants her beautiful bag it's not brand new but it's in brand, like brand new condition or excellent condition which whatever Okay, so let me show you guys the next bag. This bag I just got, okay? Like I just got this from Love My LVOE and I'll open it up and tell you why. I, and I will show you why I'm not keeping the bag. So it is a beautiful, beautiful tote bag and it is the Gucci and I'm gonna hope that I'm saying this right, Palace Collab. Very pretty tote bag, very pretty tote bag brand new condition. I don't think the bag was ever used. It's just that I hate to say brand new when I did not go buy this brand new myself. So 
looking at it, it looks like it should be sitting on the shelf. But again, I don't want to say brand new when someone might have carried it just one time. And that one time to me makes it not brand new. It makes it brand new condition. So the bag has nothing at all wrong with it. Nothing. It's very beautiful. The bottom has that leather down there, which is nice because it, it's carefree. So that's pretty. And then let me show you guys the inside of the bag. So it does have a snap closure right there to keep the bag shut. And I have it stuffed, so let me take this out. Okay, so here is the inside of the bag. So it has a good zipper pocket back there, and then it has a good pocket, good size pocket right here. So the interior is immaculate. There is no stains whatsoever. It smells brand new. You guys, this bag probably was never used one time. So here's the thing. I thought the straps were going to be longer than the Neverfulls, but they're about the same, maybe one inch longer. However, they are thicker. I will say that. But when I put it on, it goes over my shoulder just fine. I mean, you guys can see for yourself, I have a long sleeve shirt on. It does go over my sh shoulder just fine. I thought it was going to be a tote bag that I had a lot of slouch between the bag and underneath my arm. So that is why I am not keeping this bag because I have so many never fulls and I just put another one on a payment plan. So I'm like, if I'm going to carry a tote bag, it's just going to be Louis Vuitton for me, guys. So my only reason of selling it is because I did think, did think it was going to give me more room between underneath my arm and the bag. And I will compare this to a never full real quick, just to show you guys like the size. Okay. So here is my black never full. And here is the Gucci tote. So it's about the same size. So I would say this is a ML. And let me put this in front of the, yeah. So really you guys, it's literally the exact same size as the never full. Now let's look at the straps. Okay. So the Gucci straps are actually maybe two inches longer, but I guess it's, but I guess it's still not enough. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, it does fit a little bit. It does fit better than the never fulls. But that's over this long sleeve. Once again, I just wanted it to be much more longer. So, so I take that back. It does have about a couple more inches. And my friend Amy told me she thought it was a, she thought these were 10 inches where the never fulls are eight. So I'm going to let her go just because it's still not what I thought it was going to be on my shoulder. Now, if you have smaller arms than I do, or if you don't care about that, then this is the bag for you if you are a big Gucci fan. But considering I'm not that big on Gucci, that's why I'm not going to keep it because I was thinking something totally different on my arm. And I know myself, I'm going to, if I'm going to carry a tote bag, I'm going to reach for the Louis Vuitton ones, considering it doesn't fit like I thought it was going to fit. So that's the last bag I have for sale. And I'm going to sell this for a really good price, you guys. Actually, I'm not even going to sell this bag for what I paid for. My loss is your gain on I don't know, three or $400, honestly. So those are the bags I have for sale. I still have a monogram strap and I still have a monogram strap and maybe a black strap. I'm not positive, but I think I do. I can't remember what I have left on the straps, but I just wanted to show you guys the bags. And so if you are interested in those, check out my description box below and you can get in contact with me and we can further discuss the bags as such as any more details that you guys want and all of that. So that is going to wrap up my video for the day. And I just want to say thank you again for clicking on. And also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. It only takes just a second, yet it helps my channel out tremendously. And also, if you enjoyed this video, give me a good old thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about the vibe. All right, I'm going to leave you guys as I always do with I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening, or night, whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good night. Now we'll see you guys back real soon with another video. Bye.